signed binary numbers. We have positive and negative numbers are represented with positive and negative signs. We have already discussed this. Computer must represent everything with a binary. So zero, this is a convention. Zero corresponds to a positive value. And then le leftmost one corresponds to a negative value. So when you are given a number, let's say um, 0, 1, 1, 1 in binary, you must know whether the number is a signed number or unsigned number. OK? So if signed, the leftmost bit signifies it's a positive number. A zero, a 0 corresponds to positive, and 1 corresponds to negative. Let's take an example. Here, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1 corresponds to 9. OK? So it is it corresponds to 9 in unsigned binary. If I say this number is unsigned, you would simply call it 9. If I say it's a signed number, then you should be writing it plus 9. OK? Similarly, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1 corresponds to actual 25. So it is unsigned binary in 25 unsigned. But when you have to represent, if, if it is specified that it's a signed number, then the first four digits represent 9, and the leftmost one represents the sign, negative. OK, so it's minus 9. This method is called sign magnitude convention. Again, this is not widely used. The leftmost one not only represents the sign, but also the magnitude, also the weight which we will come to uh, our discussion later. So in the sign magnitude representation, we have an explicit leftmost bit dedicated to represent sign. OK? So just like in this case, you, you saw that the 1 indicates a negative, and the remaining 1001 corresponds to 9. OK? So in computer, sign complement system is more convenient for representing negative numbers. So here, negative number is indicated by its complement. We have already discussed this. Two's complement is mostly used. Let's do a quick um, um, recap here. So plus 9 and minus 9 in binary with 8 bits. How would you represent plus 9 and minus 9 in 8 bits in these representation? So plus 9 is easy. So when you have to represent sign magnitude, what would be its value? in 8 bits. Let's talk about in first, what is the actual value of 9? Plus 9. And binary value. We have just seen this. What is the actual binary value of 9, decimal 9? Hmm? 1001. Zero, zero, one. So how many bits are there? 4. You have to represent 9 in 8 bits. So what would you do? just append four additional zeros on the left, right? So this is how you represent plus 9 in sign magnitude. This represents the positive 9. Even if it signs 1's complement, the value is again same. In sign 2's complement, the value is still the same because being plus 9. How would you represent negative 9 in sign magnitude system? We have just discussed sign magnitude, yes? First from left, right? So the first from left would be 1, which represents the uh, sign, which is negative, And the magnitude is simply 9. This is how you represent a number in sign magnitude, negative number. OK? Next is sign 1's complement. What you do is simply invert all the bits to get to the negative 9 in 1's complement method. OK? In 2's complement method, again, we have been doing this. So keep the 1 same and invert all the remaining digits. OK? In, yeah? Can you the negative 9 in sign magnitude? So negative 9, so first of all, sign magnitude, in sign magnitude method, the leftmost bit signifies the sign. OK? So the leftmost bit here is 1, which signifies that the number is negative. And what is the actual number? It is 9. OK? But again, 
two's complement is used in our system. And in two's complement, the leftmost digit not only represents the sign, but also the magnitude. Okay? So this also represents the sign as well as the magnitude. 